Dave reporting back. First of all, shout out to Dan, my boy, for crushing it on the episode. I uh, am a fan of Exit 5, and there were just a ton of insights, of course, but what really stood out to me was this feeling that y'all were my tribe. I, too, was never, I don't think it's a shock for, to anyone that knows me, I was never a great, like, math student or student in general. In fact, uh, it's probably a conversation for another day. But um, this idea that B2B marketing doesn't have to be this quantitative obsession with MQLs and conversion rates and all these sort of things uh, and still be able to be a great marketer, I think really resonates pretty deeply with me specifically. And the obsession with wanting it to be fun and creative and focused on having experiences that like Dan was talking about how his mom was like, what are you going to do? How are you going to work? It's really tough for you to do things that you're not passionate about or having fun with like that really resonates. And, and frankly, like that idea really frightened me a lot when I was growing up. I was like, what am I going to do? I'm looking around and seeing people sitting in cubicles on TV and I would visit my dad at his office and others and I'd be like, holy shit, I am fucked because like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to do this. And so that was partially why I got into entrepreneurship. But um, back to the episode, I, I think that like some concepts also from a strategic perspective that uh, came out for me was just the ideas uh, around thinking about reorging the organization in a different way, like the way that Dan has community kind of having a couple different functions roll up to it uh, is, is really interesting and how you and, and David at Drift were really trying to rethink roles, right? Like that concept uh, really resonates with me the idea that I'm going to integrate LinkedIn into everything. Obviously, I, I don't think that that is a shock to anyone who's paying attention these days, really being able to do that well, storytell, again, be super creative, just a lot of different uh, topics there. And then lastly, I think this is a little more boring, but just rethinking, I couldn't keep stop thinking about like, how we have to rethink pricing and, and pricing models and how I think PLG is so interesting in many ways, but just the optionality and the different approaches to, to pricing models that it provides. But anyways, wanted to circle back and ro report back. Uh, love the content. Uh, thanks for sharing it and uh, have a great day.